in lwc on a html file conditionally if you want to render something some content how we can do this that's what we are going to understand in this video right so this is my output i have this rend render conditionally and then show information if i just click this checkbox it is going to display some content here so what it means is as a developer for me it is like if i click something it is rendering something right in the browser terminology the same thing as we can call it as it is appending some element to the dom and if we any disable this checkbox it is removing some content or element from the dom so what i mean to say is if i just inspect this specific page and if i click on this show information so this is a in the back end it is a input lightning input tag right so this input tag is closed here so now what i'll do is uh, i'll just enable this check now if you observe this specific line lightning input immediately there is a div div and slot tag is there right closing tag if i enable this now it is appended one more element and it has these are the details this is some content it is displaying here so what we can say these are all called as dom elements these are called as dom elements so for browser what it is if we enable something it is if we disable this checkbox it is removing some element some element from the dom's dom tree right and if we enable this it is inserting a dom element right so how we are doing this conditionally so here in the page see this is our page right this is this is just a checkbox and some uh, content we are displaying conditionally so this is a check this is a syntax for checkbox what i'm doing i'm just calling a method javascript method here so inside the javascript method what i'm doing is i'm just uh, uh, storing whether the in uh, the checkbox is checked or not so this is how we will will store the information into this class level variable event is a predefined javascript object so you can navigate to its properties like event.target.check so if it is if this checkbox is checked it will store true into this class level variable if this is not checked then it will be false so in the javascript what we are just trying to do is we are just capturing whether the input is checked or not checked right but inserting dom element or removing this dom element inserting this dom element uh, and this is the dom element right so inserting this dom element or removing this dom element we are not doing it through javascript right we are not doing it through javascript so this is handled at the dot html file level so what we are doing here is we are utilizing this if colon true tag template if colon true tag right so this is what we call it as in lwc we call this as directives so this using this uh, if true directive what we are trying to do is we are just uh, this if true we are just passing here the javascript property so if this is true the content inside this template will execute if this is false the content in the content inside this uh, template will not work or meaning it will be removed from the dom if this particular property is true a dom element is inserted so that's all about this in case if you have any questions please post that in comments i can respond to that thank you